Welcome back to Switzer. There's been a recent release from the ATO which will make life easier for SMSF members to cope with the 1.6 million pension cap coming in on June 30 or end or basic starting as July 1. To deliver the good news, we have the Technical and Services Education General Manager at Super Concepts, Peter Burgess. How are you, mate? I'm good, thanks. Peter. You love this time of the year, don't you, when they change yeah. rules and you... Budget coming up. Yeah, that's exactly right. All right, mate, so explain to us what this ATO release says and how you guys are responding to it. Yeah, so, okay, so the ATO has just released uh, some new guidance material. Now, mm. in my view, it's probably the most important uh, materials they've released yet on the mm. superannuation reforms. Yep. Uh, it does relate to people that uh, have got more than $1.6 million in the pension phase. Yep. As we know, mm. from 1 July this year, uh, you can't transfer more than $1.6 million into the pension phase of super. Mm. Uh, if you've already got more than $1.6 million, then you're going to have to reduce your balance down to $1.6 mm. million by 1 July. So, you, an example, you've got $2 million in there, 400 k will have to go to an accumulation fund or somewhere else. Or cashed out of the industry. Yeah, you, you move all away. Yeah. Uh, but the problem... Put on a racehorse if you want it. Yeah, true. Uh, we won't recommend it, but no, you could. I won't go there. But, yeah. uh, but the problem with this is that uh, we don't know what our balances are going to be mm. for 30 June this year. So we don't know mm. if we are going to be over 1.6, how much we're going to be over 1.6. Good point. Or, so we don't know how much to reduce our pension balances by. Right. And, and some people might under uh, take too much out because they're worried about going over. That's right. One approach is, is to estimate the amount that you think you're going to be over 1.6, mm. but as you said, there's problems with that. You could overestimate and take mm. out more than you need or underestimate and find yourself in breach of the caps. Mm. Um, so, and this is particularly important for self-managed super fund members because they may not know their pension, their 30 June pension balance until mm. well into the next financial year. Yeah. So the ATO has recognised this issue. Mm. So what they've done is come out with some guidance uh, materials mm. which uh, explain how self-managed super fund members can instruct the trustees of their fund mm. to reduce their pension balance down to uh, the, the, the figure required so they can comply with the $1.6 million limit, mm. uh, even though at the time they make the request, uh, the amount of their pension balance is not known or the amount of their excess is not known. Mm. Um, so this really gives self managed super funds peace of mind knowing that if they put in one of these requests for mm. to their trustees and they do it before 1 July this year, mm. uh, they will be complying with the $1.6 million cap. OK, so let, let, let's just make this real world. Um, I, I run my own super, uh, super fund. I, got maybe, I might have some family members. But in a sense, I'm a trustee. Yes. So when I make the, this notification, yes. I'm making a notification to myself, but I have to make an official notification. That's right. And what do I say to, to clear it with the ATO? Well, the words. And, and that's a good point, because what the guidelines explain is, is what that form has to say. Right, good. Uh, so in order for it to be valid, uh, it must be in writing to start with. Mm -hmm. so you have to make this request, this, this pension commutation request. Mm. You have to make it before 1 July. It mm. has to be in writing. Mm. Uh, it must be accepted by the trustees of the fund before 1 July this year. Mm. Uh, it must say that's irrevocable. Right. Uh, and whilst it doesn't have to stipulate the amount of the withdrawal, because mm. we don't know what that is at this stage, mm. it does need to stipulate the methodology that the trustees have to use to reduce your balance. Now, mm. that's particularly important where you may have more than one pension in the self managed super fund. And, and many clients mm. do have more than one pension. So it needs to stipulate the order in which the pensions are to be reduced. OK. So, so in the even, if you get to July 1 and your the amount of money in your pension fund is actually, or ends up being higher than 1.6. Yes. But you've you've made this in writing request. Does that clear you up and gives you at some time to eventually change the balances? Absolutely. So this is that's the important is, part. I would thought. All about. So yeah, I would thought so. We've been talking to clients about this, and this is what they've been thinking. There's a lot of panic do. out there because people. Some people are panickers. That's right. They don't know what they have to do by 30 June. And so super is important. Nice. Exactly. Mm. And, and but the ATO guidelines make it clear as to the process that the ATO would like to see them take yeah. in order to comply with the 1.6 limit. So there mm. are certain conditions, as I said, that mm. the, in order for it to be valid, there are certain things that need to be on that uh, pension request documentation. Mm. Now we using the ATO guidelines. 
Queensland, we have developed uh, a pension commutation request form, right. as well as a trustee minute, because remember it has to be accepted by the trustees mm -hmm. before 1 July. Uh, you can download it free of charge from our website, so so www.superconcepts.com.au. Right. Uh, you'll also find other information in there about our administration services and technical support that we offer self managed super fund trustees. Yeah, so that's, that's, that's the... It basically makes it a follow the, the steps and you're, you're in the clear from the, the tax it office. It legitimises the process. OK. Yeah. Now, all right, so by, let's say by August, you find that your balance ends up being 1.7. Yes. Can you just then take the 100000 out to, to clear it up? Well, under this approach, you'll have to transfer it back to the accumulation yeah, phase. Yeah, accumulation phase. So, so as long as you make it 1.6 by, by a reasonable time after July 1, you'll be OK, given the fact that you've made... You've, You've signed off on the... Exactly. The, the if you relief. put one of these requests in place, yeah. then the trustees are required to calculate what your excess is when mm. they have all that information. Yeah. So right. they need to identify all the different pensions you may have in mm. your own fund, mm. as well as any other pensions you've got outside the fund. They've got to calculate what your excess is, mm. and then they've got to reduce your pension of the fund by that excess, mm. effective... 30th of June. So, so, Peter, in a sense, if you if you sign this, what what are you calling it? Uh, pension commutation request. Oh, yes. Easy name, is it? Pension, co pension commutation, commutation request. request. Yeah. If you do that and you follow the steps, it's like giving you an extension on getting your balance back to 1.6. Extension of time effectively happens. That's right, because as I said earlier on, it's it's acknowledged that yeah. we don't know what our pension balance is in. No, exactly. And I think it will give a lot of people peace of mind. Great stuff, mate. We're out of time. I have a lot of other questions, but we'll get you back before June sure. 30. Thank All you. right, so that's Peter Burgess from Super Concept. One more time, the website? Uh, uh, Superconcepts.com.au. Okay, thanks very much. Thank that's the show for tonight. Thanks for joining us. I'll see you tomorrow night.